Well, good evening. Welcome to uh, Calvary Chapel Grants Pass. This Sunday evening is the uh, worship and praise. Uh, the format is as usual. I'll start with some uh, worship and then uh, we'll have an open mic here uh, for you. If you would like to share something, either a prayer, pray for something or a praise report. Thanksgiving, you can just run it by the pastor over there with his head down and uh, then you can go. But if you would like to at least right now just to stand for the first uh, few songs. Father in heaven, we just come before you this evening and we just pray that just have your Holy Spirit fall afresh on us. Lord, we just need more of you and just ask for just a full dose of your spirit here in this building and just to fall afresh those who are watching. We thank you and in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. If you would like, you can uh, you can sit. My soul waits, I wait for the Lord. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, I wait for the Lord. So 
Give the glory to God. Are you hurting and broken with that? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin Jesus is calling Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling Oh, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Leave behind your regrets and mistakes. Come today, there's no reason to wait. Jesus is calling. Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy. From the ashes, a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Oh, come to. The altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with. The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, what a Savior! Isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. What a Savior, isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, Christ Come, oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. 
Lay your cross as you wait for the crown Tell the world of the treasure you found To you, O oh Lord, I lift my soul. In you, O oh God, I place my trust. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. My hope is in you. Show me your ways. Guide me in truth. In all my days, my hope is in you. I am, O oh Lord, filled with your love. You are, O oh God, my salvation. Guard my life and rescue me. My broken spirit shouts, my mended heart cries out. My hope is in you. Show me your ways. Guide me in truth. In all my days, my hope. my soul in you oh God I place my trust do not let me be put to shame nor let my enemies triumph over me my hope is in you show me your way Show me your ways, God may in truth, in all my days, my hope is in you. I am, O oh Lord, filled with your love you are oh god my salvation father in heaven we come before you this evening and we just pray that your holy spirit continues just to move amongst us and everything that is said this evening that it is to glorify you only you. You are worthy of our praise. We thank you, Father in heaven. We thank you for your son, Jesus. Jesus, we come to you humbly in reverence. Just in thanks for how you love us so much that you left your throne and you came down here. And then you died for us. We thank you for your sacrifice in obedience and love 
for us. We praise you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So does anyone have any uh, prayer, prayer request or a praise or thanksgiving? I, I just want a, a little bit of a praise. My wife is here. Yeah, just... <laughs> and I would just like to lift her up. Father in heaven, I just pray that with my wife being here this evening, that being in this building doesn't, doesn't harm her. That, uh, uh, I just pray that you have your angels about her just protecting her body. And, and we thank you for her. And just, uh, I just pray that you give her just an easy evening, Lord. And I also just want to pray for so many in our church who are hurting, that are constantly in pain, Lord, that deal with different ailments. I just pray that you just touch, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray for healing. But if not, we pray that it draws them closer to you. For one day, we who believe in you, Jesus, we will be face to face. You're going to come back for us. We thank you for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Anyone? Praise? Prayer? Thanksgiving? There we go. God is good. All the time, He is faithful. While they're, uh, they're talking this out, I just want to lift up uh, Pastor Kevin and, and his wife, Linda. They are up in Seattle. Kirk uh, had passed away, and I know that, that Pastor Kevin had, uh, he had, both of them had just... Uh, preach the gospel to him, but I do know that when, when Pastor Kevin and, and uh, his wife Linda, when they were down in California, I believe that they were, uh, they were on the phone with him, and, and as he was, um, he couldn't go anywhere being in a hospital, that the, I believe the nurse or someone put the phone up, and I know the pastor was just preaching the gospel to him, and I do not know the outcome of, of his heart, none of us do, but we do want to lift up his wife, Trish, and his daughter, Brooke. If you would just pray with me concerning that. Father in heaven, we, we just lift up Pastor Kevin and, and, and his wife, Linda, as they are up just comforting the family, Kirk's family. And we just pray for comfort, Lord. We just pray for encouragement to them. Just surround them with your love. And, and I pray that this act draws them closer to you. I, I, I don't know where Kirk ended up, but I do just pray for the family, for the, for the wife and for the daughter, that this draws them closer to you and also the mother, Lord. We just give this to you. I pray that you give Kevin and Linda just the correct words as they have been up there, just correct, uh, comforting and, and being with the family. And we just give that to you. We just pray that your spirit draws all those individuals, the family to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, Nehemiah 8.10 says, that The strength of the Lord is our joy. And so we're going to pray for Matt's son, Scott. Right now he's out in California. He's dealing with the COVID restrictions and graduation coming up. And I think, uh, you know, honestly, I think sometimes it's, easy to look at the negative, right? Where many days, you know, even being in the ministry and um, just walking with God, you know, many days I'm prone to look at what's wrong. I'm prone to look at the failures. I'm prone to look at, you know, just this and that. And I think it's easy 
oftentimes we, we start looking at what God has not done rather than what God has done. Amen. Right? And, and, we, and we get in this place where we really begin to kind of allow ourselves to question the goodness of God, right? But King David, he said, hey, mercy and goodness will follow me all the days of my life. And so we're going to pray for his son. And uh, man, we're just going to pray for the community and for this church that we'd be willing to just meet God where he's at, right? Because it, it, it's like God hasn't left, right? We get in this place. God's never, God doesn't leave. It's us. We walk away. We choose to decide that he's not true to his word, right? And so we get in a spot where we're questioning him, where we're accusing him. You guys, let it not be so. And so, Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we just thank you for your word. God, I thank you, Lord, that you're just a good father, God, even when we don't understand all that's going on. God, I do pray for my brother here. I pray for his son, just uh, everything going on in California. God, just with the COVID restrictions and uh, just everything, God, in the community, it's so easy to look at the negative. God, it's so easy to look at what's wrong and what's not going to work and, uh, you know, getting in the spot. God, of deciding that maybe the gospel isn't true. Maybe it's not for us, God, but here's your promises. God, here's your word. Your word says that everyone who thirsts, come. Why do you labor? God, so teach us to rest in you. God, I do pray for my brother here. Lord, I just pray that you continue to raise him up. God, that you would just allow him, God, that you would teach him to be the man that you've created him to be. Yes. God, I pray for his son and everything going on in California. God, that you would just, uh, just be with his son. God, ease his son's tensions or any uh, just division or distraction. God, anything, Lord, that uh, just wants to cause discouragement. God, it's so easy to fill out guns. Outnumbered, God. And I think of your word, God, when you spoke through the prophet. God, and allowed the servant's eyes to see, God, all the angels on the hill. God, you do walk with us, and you do lead us, God. So I pray, Lord, for this church, for this community, God, that we'd stand up in the hour of trial. God, that we wouldn't be fearful. God, that we wouldn't let the enemy get in our heads. God, that we would just walk in all that you have for us. God, that we'd turn the corner with faith. God, and that we'd honor you in all we do. God, so we love you. We thank you, God. And we just, God, we place this evening in your hands. God, we pray, Lord, that you would just meet us here mm. and that we'd walk away better for it. God, we love you and we ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. You know, some of us look at the glasses half empty. Some look at it as half full. But for those who have given their life to Jesus Christ, I guarantee you that your cup is overflowing. You just don't know it. Okay, or you don't claim it in the sense of just believing in the promises of God. See, we must remember that whatever we deal with here, on this earth, if you've given your life to Christ, this is the closest to hell you will ever be. And what awaits is glory land. But if that is true, then the opposite is also true, that if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, here on earth, this is the closest to heaven that you will ever be. We all need to check our hearts, see where we stand. Amen. Any other prayer requests, praises? Quiet crowd this evening. I do want to lift up the, just the outreaches that we have coming up. I, again, on this Friday, we have Dennis Agajanian. You know, I couldn't say his name a month ago. I kept stumbling over it, but uh, Dennis is coming, and, and it is my desire, it is our prayer leadership here that, that this place is just packed with people who do not know Christ. 
um, or who are in a state of walking away and that they hear the gospel. So let's just lift that up. Father in heaven, we just come before you, and I just pray that this Friday night that you just bless this concert with Dennis. I just ask that you bring through these doors individuals who do not know you, and just by your Holy Spirit and by the message, the music that is being played and the message of the gospel of what is said, that your Holy Spirit draws them to you. It is all about the kingdom of heaven. Lord, not about who comes here to this church or that church, but it's all about the kingdom of heaven. And I just pray that you just bless this outreach that we're having on Friday. I also want to lift up just a refuge center on a regular basis, the, the food pantry who is just blessing the community, and that also the barbecue um, that we're starting to have again, the worship and the, and, and the message there on Friday, that it just not only ministers to believers, but it draws the unsaved to you or those who are on shaky ground. We just lift that up. We pray for the, uh, the seniors banquet, catered banquet that is coming up. We just pray that you work out all the logistics and details of that. We, we, we lift up the, uh, the monthly family potlucks. And with that, Lord, I pray that as we as a church, we open up, I pray that you bind the enemy physically and spiritually. Lord, that those who want to complain that the church is, is, is meeting outside and having a large group, I just, I just pray that you bind the enemy. Bind them and bind the enemy spiritually. He wants to just stop the gospel, stop the spread. Wants, Satan wants to close churches, and so many churches are closed, Lord. I just pray that you protect this one if it is your will. And give the leadership just wisdom. Wisdom. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? All right. Well, maybe it's time for a worship song or two then. Let's do this. The splendor of the King Loathed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice All the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries to hide at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? Now we'll see how great, how great is our God. H to A. And time is in his hands Beginning and the end Beginning and the end The God at three in one Father, Spirit, Son Lion and the Lamb Lion and the Lamb How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God Now we'll see how great How great is our God Name above all names You're the name of all names You are worthy of all praise My heart will sing How great is our God Name above all names 
You're the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. My heart will sing how great is our God. How great. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Now we'll see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And I will see how great, how great is our God. Praise Him. Praise Him. I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love, no place I'd rather be, no. I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, but here in your love, here in your love, set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control, I want more of you God, I want more of you, set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Here in your love, here in your love, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be. But here in your love, here in your love, no place I'd rather be, no, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be. But here in your love, here in your love. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, God. I'd rather be. 
No place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love. Amen. Amen. Anyone? I really feel like the Lord put something on my heart um, that happened many, many years ago because maybe he can give someone hope tonight and give someone um, just a changed heart. Um, years ago, our church in Southern California was ministering, I think it was the Rodney King trials, if I'm not mistaken. We had gone down and we were we had, had a semi-truck with a whole bunch of blankets and food and everything, and we had a long table where we were volunteering and I was part of the bread table and part of the bread section and um, we had been we had long 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 lines of people waiting for food and after a little while um, the bread started getting low and so we started breaking the loaves in half to try and make them last and then we thought you know what let's pray right <laughs> so what a concept so we all prayed and um, Literally, no sooner had we stopped praying than we opened our eyes and we looked, and there were like bags, at least one or two big old black trash bags full of bread that wasn't there before we prayed. And um, it was like, wow, Lord, you are so good. You are so good. So after a while, it started getting lower again, and, and we're starting to run out again. We thought, okay, we're going to pray again. <laughs> So we prayed again, and again, not long after we prayed, here comes this bakery truck backing up right to where our table is with just loaded with loaves of bread. Wow. And we were just like, I mean, we were all in tears. We we're like, God is so good. And, um, and then it was getting later in the day, and again, we were getting lower on bread, and again, we were breaking it in half. And we thought, well, you know what? God never fails. He is faithful. So we prayed again. And um, not long after that, somebody in our group had noticed across the hall that there was a door that nobody had seen all day long. Nobody noticed it. Walked into the, someone opened up the door, and what do you think was behind the door? Bags of loaves of bread. <laughs> and, I mean, I kid you not. And the awesome thing is, make me cry the awesome thing is and this is showing the power of god the last person in line got the last loaf of bread so none of it was wasted and you know it, it's hard sometimes to to hear the feeding of the five thousand you're like yeah you had two loaves of fish and some or two two loaves of bread and some fish how's that going to feed five thousand i've seen it firsthand i god Praise can do god. anything <laughs> you know what if God said it, I believe it, and it can happen. So if anybody out there questions whether God can handle your situation or provide for you, I'm telling you, he can. Amen. Amen to that. Uh, I love that as she said that if God said it, I believe it. There's a lot in the Bible that I, that I, that I don't understand, but I don't need to understand. All I need to do is just believe, just to believe. Praise God. Anybody else? Here we go. That's good because I'm running out of songs. Okay. <laughs> right. um, I got a praise report. It's like Michael said I can stay another month in first base. And um, yeah, that's a good thing. And um, I just, I want to wait. I'm just, I want to serve this ministry any way I can. And I just, I mean, I just want to pray to the Lord and just see what he's got for me. But I just, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere because uh, I know what's going to happen when I go out there. And it's just, there's, there's too good of a chance. And it's like, I just, yeah. You, I mean, I've seen people strong in the Lord's slip, but I just, I want to get stronger and stronger. And it just, and plus it's like, I, I hope he lets me, um, Serve you turn for Christ because you turn for Christ saved my life. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> Why don't you pray? Yeah. Okay, cool. Some of the men want to come up. Uh, 
All right, so Heavenly Father, God, we just, uh, God, once again, God, we come to you thanking. God, just, just, God, you're so good. God, you're good, and you're kind, and you're gracious. God, and it's so easy to just get in the flesh or just start doubting God. So we do pray for, God, I lift my brother. God, I just pray, Lord, that you would encourage him and strengthen him. God, I think of your word in Joshua, God, when you commanded, do not fear. God, and I believe that that's a word for my brother. God, rather to be strong and to be courageous, God, to just take every promise that you have. God, and to walk in them. God, so I pray, Lord, that you'd keep him, that you'd strengthen him. God, I pray, Lord, that you'd bless him and you turn, God, that you would just uh, continue to raise him up as a leader. God, when the enemy wants to come in and attack, God, that you would just silence the voice of the enemy. God, fear is a liar and we cast him out. God, we pray, Lord, that you would just continue to be glorified. God, so we love you. We thank you. God, I do lift my brother again. God, I pray that you just put a hedge of protection around him. God, that you'd open the floodgates of heaven on him. God, that whatever he does, God, that his hand would prosper and that he'd see you in his life. God, so we love you. We thank you. And all of God's people said, amen. 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 <laughs> you know, a wise man, a wise sage once, once said in the movie Dirty, uh, Dirty Harry, a man's got to know his limitations. <laughs> and I like how the brother knows, man, he's got to stay. When we understand that the victory is not on us. It's through Christ, and it's in Christ by the Holy Spirit. When we realize that we are no match for the enemy, we are no match for our flesh. And when we surrender to Jesus, as we continue to surrender to him, he gives us the strength. And as Pastor had, had mentioned earlier that Jesus never walks away from us. We walk away from him. We just got to know our limitations and stay, to stay right where we are meant to be in the arms of God. Amen. Anyone else have uh, anything that they would like to say or a praise report or uh, Thanksgiving? God, God is good. God is always faithful. Here we go. Hey, so my name is Monica. Um, I've been here for about three years now. A lot of people know my story and some don't, but I think it's a good story and I think it's encouraging and I really want to lift people up because I go through a lot on a daily basis and I struggle with a disease and it's called MS and I have progressive MS. But um, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about, well, I could talk about a lot, actually, being left and abandoned in a drug house at 10 years old and making it on my own from there, you know, and, um, you know, doing little things here and there just to try to make it. And then, you know, getting a husband, getting divorced, having my baby, deciding to be single on my own forever <laughs> and a day, and then finding a good man, and then he disappears, and then, whoa, and then, like, whoa, here we are right? <laughs> it's another bump. It's another road. It's just another thing that happens. And you're like, why God? And you get on your knees and you cry out and you're just like, what did I do? Or what did my family do? Or what a generation? Can I break this curse? Can we just, you know, can we do a generational thing? And I was like, I was determined. I was determined with my son to try to break a curse that I felt was on our family. And if you can look at our family still, it's like drugs after drugs after drugs after house after this after that. And nowadays it seems to get worse because there's just more out there. There's just tons of stuff. I don't even know. There's a new name for something today that was just made up. You're going to know, you know, you know, it's just crazy, the drugs out there and, and, and the babies that have to go through it. You know, it's, it's crazy to me, and, and, and the, the amount of help out there is not what we, we, we have. So I was determined, and I came out here for a group home. It was a residential treatment home 
and it was for babies. It was for boys, seven to 13 years old. It was just like, yes, yes, I, I, that's, that's my calling, right? And I felt it was, it was God leading me there. I really did here too, which it was in Grants Pass. It was the first one ever heard of, you know, seven to 12. Woo, who's going to do that, right? <laughs> who's going to handle that? And, um, but there were some girls and, and me, and we were determined. We were determined to turn these babies around. I mean, we got the police called. We had all this stuff, right, almost a daily basis. And it was crazy, breaking windows and going through stuff I've never even heard of. Babies with heroin shot in their toes, like, come here, let me hold you. Like, whoa, I thought I went through a lot, right? Just being left in this, I mean, it was raided. It was a, it was a, it was a good dope home, you know? Mama just left me. And I was 10, so what did I do? I just took care of the babies. Because I didn't like the other stuff. I knew God, I knew something. I didn't know him at the time, but I knew something was in me. But anyways, with the group home, um, I got hurt, and we got hurt a lot. And, um, but through my whole years of teenage and whatnot, I always hurt in my body. And I always hurt and I didn't know why. And so um, this was actually a really good thing to get hurt because I got the MRIs and it actually saved my life. <laughs> the boys' home saved my life. And um, during that all, they actually, when I got hurt, they didn't let me come back. Workman's comp stopped. And then me and my son, we haven't had income because I can't work. Like, I struggle, and I try, and, and I do stuff around town and in the community, and, and it's just to the point where I have to give up. I actually have to claim disability. And that in itself was hard enough. So when I claim disability, you can't claim unemployment. <laughs> Whoa! So what do we do? Where do we go? There's nothing, no income, besides what the state gives us, and it was $96. How do you live off of that, right? So for two years, we haven't, well, a year for the income, we haven't had anything. And so I fought with the labor board, and I fought with the labor board, and I was fighting. I was going to be with that, that girl that didn't go in the corner and sit back, even though I like the corner, you know, here, but um, God's telling me. Like, baby, you're allowed to say the movie. So I'm like, baby, like dirty dancing, you know, get out of the corner. Anyways, um, so the settlement came. We actually got a settlement, and it was for $6,000. And I'm behind in rent for $3,000. And I will cover that. I will get caught up, you know, and I'm only behind rent in $3,000. Okay? That's another testimony in itself um, because we should be in, like, serious debt. Like, so when you keep your eyes focused on the Lord and you try your best and you keep on going after struggle, after struggle, hope, bread, I mean, it's there. It really is. You just keep that hope and that, and that, I mean, eat through all these trials. I mean, it was, it was very, very hard. And there's, there's so many testimonies. I could sit here and tell you so many. And I really, really want to encourage everybody, especially the ones that are cycle breakers. Hey. Uh, we're out there, and we need to do it, and we need to do it now. So I would like to pray, and um, I don't do this ever, and I never, ever come out of my corner, so <laughs> I'll just try. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the gift of your church, for the gift of your home, for coming here to being a family. I want everybody to know that once you come to the Lord and you accept him fully in your heart, that you are a part of this family. It's a body here. And once this body is connected and fully serving you, Lord, it's going to be extremely amazing for the community and every other person that we can touch, every soul that needs to be saved. It's God's past, Lord. Let us start here and, and like start a revival throughout this whole land, this nation, Lord Jesus. The ones that are sick in body, Lord, oh, the, the testimony even of Margaret, that's what made me get up here. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. We just want to thank you for your babies, the ones that are suffering, Lord. Help them to just find you somehow, Lord. You're the saving grace they need to understand that there is life and there is peace out there. We thank you for bringing us, for making us stand and walk and breathing. We just want to thank you even for the little things, Jesus. And thank you once again for your church and being able to speak and stand up for you. We love you and praise you in Jesus' precious name.
Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Here we have another one. Praise God. You know, as we, as we just start talking with under, uh, other individuals, it's amazing that the different testimonies that people have and how God has blessed them. And I just think that that's so cool because so much we may not know or understand. And then as we start to talk to someone, we find out this or that. It's like, wow, God is good. He is. Go ahead. Well, hey, guys. Um, I'm in U-turn, and I found out a few things since I've been here, and I love the Lord. Um, been married to my beautiful wife for 17 years, and she's had to deal with my addiction, leaving him all the tortures uh, for a long time. 17 years I've put him through it. So I've been feeling a lot of guilt about putting that through them. And I'm just hoping I can get some prayer for it. It's been really difficult. So, and I can get some prayer from you guys. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I'll, I'll lift you up in prayer right now. Father in heaven, I just lift up my brother, man. And as he's been honest to come forward and say, man, I just need prayer. I just pray that by your Holy Spirit that you strengthen him. I thank you that that he is in U-turn. I just pray that you comfort the family while he is gone. But more importantly, Lord, I, I just pray that you restore that relationship with his wife completely and with the, with the children and just restore his relationship with you. As he said, he loves you and, and he knows you. I just pray that you strengthen him, that you, that you just comfort him, comfort the family and just pray that you continue the good work that you have started in him. I just pray that you bind the enemy in his life and in his family's life, Lord. I pray for him, that you protect him physically, but more important, that you protect him spiritually. And we just give him to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> So would anyone like to uh, come up and just pray um, uh, after, after Michael, just pray with Tyson? We're, we, in other words, we'll be done in a couple minutes, and please, I do not want anyone to leave without, if they have prayer, that, that Pastor Ty and I will we'll just stay up here and, and pray with whoever wants to for a, however long. But Go ahead, Michael. You're a pastor? Oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Um, I just wanted to say... Uh, a good friend of mine last week, him, he says, be ready in season and out of season. All right? And um, because he's been talking to me about maybe doing my testimony on Friday. Yeah. And um, I want to do it. I've done it several times. But listening to, I just want to encourage right now, listening to Monica being worried about coming up here, she did great. And then not 10, uh, 10 minutes ago, um, Josh, he says, man, I can't get up there and talk. I put my arms around him. I said, no, Jesus can help you. You can do it. <laughs> man, he did great. And uh, he did great. We all could do great. It, God don't care how we talk. All right? I mean, just don't get up here and be rude, please. Uh, but uh, a, a big praise report is this for me. It's what we do here Sunday nights when it's open mic like this. Man, God bless the pastors and everything, but this is nice to have us be able to come up here and to speak and to share our hearts. Don't be afraid to do that. I tell you guys that all the time in Proverbs. Man, be bold, speak up about what's going on. You know, don't get carried away and out of hand with it, of course, right? <laughs> but don't be, don't be shy. God wants us to, hey man, I'm going through this, man. Thank God for this church. Thank God for my brother. Thank God for a U-turn. Thank God for Calvary. Don't be afraid to do that. You know, that's what, that's what our church family's here for. Amen? Amen. You going to pray? You're the pastor. Oh. Am I praying? You are praying right now. Uh, <laughs> Lord, Lord of Lord, King of Kings, thank you, Lord Jesus, just for, oh, Lord, so many chances, so many things, so many. What a wonderful life we can have in you, Lord God. Just please open all of our eyes to chase after you, not this crazy world 
to be men and women that truly, truly love you to do our best to, uh, to do that. Uh, Lord God, just lift up this church, all the men here that got families, Lord God, and they want to do something different. And, um, and I always say this too, Lord God, is all the people here at Calvary that aren't part of U-Turn that open their hearts and arms to us. So we just love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Why don't you stand for this last song? Please, again, if you need prayer for any reason, please come forward. God bless.